William Byrd II, or William Byrd of Westover, born March 28, 1674, was a planner, lawyer, and surveyor from Virginia. Later in his life, his dad died and he found himself managing his father's estate. He became the receiver general and a colonel of the Henrico County Militia, just like his father. He cozied up to many powerful families in Virginia, and even fostered the largest library in the colonies. But this video isn't about any of that gay shit. We're going to take a look at some more explicit parts of Mr. Bird's life. So, grab a bad dragon, lock them doors and turn them lights down low, and let's fucking rock and roll. While Bird was living in London, he wrote a diary frequently. In this diary, he talks about copious amounts of SC actual encounters. Also, before I get into it, sometimes when he's saying someone's name, he'll spell out letters instead of just saying their name. I don't, I don't really know why he does that or what that's about, but I'm just going to read what's written. Anyways, about one encounter, he writes, After dinner, we drank a bottle till 5 o'clock. And then I went to Colonel Blackiston's, where I stayed till 8, and then went to Will's Coffee House and from thence to Mrs. ALC, and scolded at her for not making my shirts. Fucking bitch, not making my shirts? You fucking dumb cunt. About 11 I went home and found a great pain in my toe. Kissed the maid and my seed came from me, and <laughs> neglected my prayers. <laughs> for all, for all which God will, for all which God forgive me. Homie must have been about to explode if he came from making out with a wench. Nice though. Also, busting a nut from kissing a maid and scolding yourself for not praying after is truly wild. Another entry reads, after dinner put several things in order till 5 o'clock and then went to Mrs. BRN where I had the pleasure to talk with my dear Miss Smith. Here I stayed till 7 o'clock and then went to Mrs. Fitzherbert's. Fitzherbert's? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> where I drank some strong beer and ate some toast and then went to the ambassador's where I lost 4 pounds. Here I was very bright and stayed till 12 o'clock and then went home in a chair and kissed the maid till I polluted myself. <laughs> Man, I just, man, I fucked up last night. Just, I polluted all over myself. I fucking polluted myself. When I first read that he lost four pounds, I thought he meant he was just, I thought he meant he just took a huge shit. <laughs> but then I remember that this is in London and the pound is, is money. So significantly less funny. Fucking polluting yourself though is, is a crazy way of, is a crazy way of saying you came. It's crazier than saying my seed spilled out of me or whatever. Reading further, he states, In the afternoon I took a nap and put several things in order till 5 o'clock and then went to Will's Coffee House and from thence to the play. After the play I went to court and from thence to Petcombs. Petcombs? Petcombs. Petcom. Where was abundance of company. Here I stayed till 12 o'clock and then went home in a chair and kissed the maid till I committed uncleanness. For which God forgive me. Slept pretty well. I bet. It's starting to seem like all this dude does is eat, chill, and fuck. Or I guess kiss until completion. After dinner I went home, where Mr. Lindsay came to me, and about 8 I dressed myself for the masquerade, and then went to my cousin Horace Mandon's, where I drank some chocolate, and about 10 we went, and I was very well diverted, and spent most of the night with one woman. Here met with a woman that I hugged, then went home in a chair. Here met with a woman that I hugged, and then went home in the chair. Hugging till completion is a new one. I'm guessing that hugging and kissing are just placeholders for fucked, but it's funnier to believe that he hugged a woman all night until he nutted. Then I went to Will's Coffee House and drank dish of chocolate, and about 10 went to the Bagneo? Bagneo, and bathed and then lay all night with Annie Wilkinson and Roger her twice. I neglected my prayers. Sent my daughter home and walked in the park, then went to Ozinda's and won four and a half guineas. Damn, he won four and a half Italians? And about 12 o'clock, walked home and met a woman by the way, and committed uncleanness, for which God forgive me. Yeah, I bet he rogered the fuck out of Annie Wilkinson. Sounds like he's just picking up women in the park, in the park and fucking them. <laughs> guy's cold-blooded. This guy's an alpha. This guy's awesome. Okay, this one is perplexing. About 5 o'clock, I took leave. And went to Lady Guise's, where I stayed till 7 o'clock, and then went to St. James Park, where I picked up a woman that was with a child, and went home with her, and committed uncleanness with her, and then walked home and neglected my prayers. So, at first I thought he meant she was pregnant, but I think he would have said with child, not with a child. So I think he means that she had an actual kid with her, and he took her back to her place, maybe, and just sat the kid in the other room, and they fucked loudly with no air conditioning, <laughs> with no air conditioning because this took place in August. I bet that house smelled crazy. 
I rose about 8 o'clock, having taken my ass's milk and read a chapter in Hebrew. We all know what he means, but it's still funny. I wouldn't mind having some ass milk right about now. About 9 o'clock came Captain W.I.'s and stayed half an hour. I danced my dance. Then came Captain Randolph and brought my little daughter with him, who appeared much better than I had heard. He was so kind as to offer to take care of her until she was cured of the itch. I love old names for illnesses, like my daughter has the itch. I have the penile rot. My wife has the blood cough. So what can we learn from old Mr. William Byrd II? Well, I think people in the 1700s loved to eat hearty meals, drink ass milk, come, and chill. Between the rogering, committing uncleanness, and feasting, it's hard to see when they found time to actually do anything. But I guess Byrd was well off and wealthy, so he had time to do nothing while the peasants made his food and fucked him. Anyways, thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you enjoyed the video, please, roger a whore, commit uncleanness, and say your prayers. As always, I'm an 18th century horny man.